तो आपकी कहानी में एक ट्विस्ट है आप गए तो इंटर्नशिप ढूंढने थे पर आपको मिल गई परमानेंट जॉब तो ये कैसे हुआ आई वुड से वेरी मच कॉन्फिडेंट अबाउट कि हाँ आई विल गेट अ जॉब आफ्टर दिस बिकॉज एट दैट मोमेंट आई वॉज स्टिल अ मैकेनिकल स्टूडेंट बट विथ नो कोडिंग बैकग्राउंड बट स्टिल गॉट दिस जॉब हेलो एवरीवन आज इनकी कहानी इनकी जुबानी शो के इस एपिसोड में हमारे साथ हैं रवि रंजन जो मैकेनिकल इंजीनियरिंग करने के बाद एज अ डेटा साइंटिस्ट का जॉब कर रहे हैं रवि इंटर्नशिप ढूंढ रहे थे पर उन्हें डेटा साइंस में एक परमानेंट जॉब मिल गई विद स्टार्टिंग सैलरी ऑफ सिक्स लैक्स पर एन एम यस यू हर्ड इट राइट कैसे हुआ ये ये हुआ क्योंकि रवि इंटर्नशाला डेटा साइंस प्लेसमेंट गारंटी कोर्स के स्टूडेंट थे और ये हुआ रवि के लगन मेहनत और सपने के कारण रवि सॉ अ ड्रीम ऑफ बिकमिंग अ डेटा साइंटिस्ट एंड इंटर्नशाला हेल्प दिम परस्यू हिज ड्रीम थ्रू इट्स इंटर्नशाला डेटा साइंस प्लेसमेंट गारंटी कोर्स चलिए सुनते हैं रवि से उनके मैकेनिकल इंजीनियरिंग से डेटा साइंटिस्ट बनने की कहानी वेलकम रवि एंड अज राउंड ऑफ अपलॉज फॉर योर अचीवमेंट इंटर्नशाला पर बहुत सारे व्यूअर्स हैं और आज के इस इंटरव्यू से हम कोशिश करेंगे कि हम उन्हें कुछ वैल्यू दे पाए सो फॉर आर व्यूअर्स प्लीज टेल अस अ लिटिल बिट अबाउट योर सेल्फ रवि रंजन एंड आई बिलोंग फ्रॉम पटना बिहार Okay, so I started my education that was uh, from uh, Madhya Pradesh. So mm-hmm. I completed my schooling from there. Mm-hmm. After that, I started graduation in Madhya Pradesh only. Okay. So I, I did it from uh, mechanical engineering. Mm-hmm. Uh, so I was not very bright student in <laughs> engineering, but still I pursued it. I completed. Mm-hmm. and then after that uh, i went for post graduation in chennai okay. i did this post graduation from power plant engineering oh so mm-hmm. i was just speaking to my domain only so that was uh, my prime motto to be there only but uh, after that i started to see the industry that what i should do then i chose data science as well along with it and then i started to learn it and uh, for 6 months continuously i learned and completed the projects and all so now i am a data scientist in a company called exact space technologies private limited okay mm. so it's been a year i have been okay oh, data scientist okay so currently the same thing as a data scientist what you imagine <laughs> that's not exactly same thing yeah most of the th- times I analyze things. Okay. <laughs> what I should build for. So that's how my days goes. Okay. I will explain a bit more. Yeah, sure. So, आपकी कहानी में एक twist है. आप गए तो internship ढूँढने थे, पर आपको मिल गई permanent job. तो ये कैसे हुआ? No, actually, uh, while I was preparing for this data science, then uh, I was trying to get a job in my domain only. Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh, before this i had uh, experience in power plant engineering so i was uh, practically present there and during that covid was also going on so literally it was a struggling phase but still i did all the things and uh, when i applied for this internship in this company then i saw that they are doing exact same job that i wanted to do but in analytical method hmm. okay so i as i interviewed for them then uh, the boss directly sat with me and uh, we both chatted and he said said that okay we really are aligning aligning with each other so yeah. <laughs> it's like a snowball that is going on and going on and people like you are joining mm-hmm. so at that time i got to know yeah i will work for this company and uh, at that time they after this they told me okay so i will not hire you as an intern rather i will hire you as a full time employee okay because after they interviewed me then they find it like uh, okay no we should give him a chance and uh, i have been working like that so how has your life changed since you got a job as data scientist 
<laughs> yeah life has uh, changed a uh, very much i would say yeah mm-hmm. before uh, data science i was no not exactly data science but before getting into job mm-hmm. okay so before getting into a job we are like really naive and uh, mm, true we uh, we just need direction mm-hmm. so every time what you have to do like you what you will be told you will do what you will be told you will do but after job it's everything on you now you are the scientist you show them the path you give them the results that they even don't know but yeah you have to take your own decisions so now i have learned that thing so before the job and after job this was a big change right so what do your parents say about your journey so far uh my parents were a little bit doubtful before this job that what will i do and what will i not mm-hmm. but after this job yeah they were really happy that uh, yeah i have done something and uh, mm-hmm. i have got a job that too in a really great stream and also they are proud that yeah whatever education i had now i'm utilizing it and even yeah. i'm really satisfied that i'm utilizing it and giving mm. something so what did you do with your first salary with first salary actually it's quite interesting i took specs for me and that was oh, my first <laughs> and uh, after that i gave rest of my salary to my parents okay mm-hmm. they tell me what should i do then they told me okay invest it start investing it so now this is the time and then uh, from that time itself i started to learn how to put my money in place so what are you expecting to get hired from the placement guarantee course of internshala like it was not literally i was expecting but yeah i got uh, experience in like many interviews i got failed okay. but yeah after that in this interview like it lit- it was literally meant for me <laughs> so i got hired after this mm-hmm. so i was not literally that i would uh, say very much confident about ki ha i will get a job after this because at that moment uh, i was still a mechanical student but uh, with no coding background uh, hmm. but I still got this job being a mechanical student how did you choose this program in of data science during mechanical engineering uh, i saw that this company and not hmm. com- this branch branch yeah feel yeah this has like literally very less amount of recruitments and uh, mm-hmm. if i what if i keep doing uh, things like this i will also end up in some like lower uh, somewhat lower salary range but i did not want it that so i started to look for alternative that uh, what i can do then at that time I I and my sister both were uh, looking that what else I should do after that uh, I came to your page only internshala page only there I saw this ad and uh, the thing that was mentioned was uh, this is not a domain specific thing hmm. data science is for every domain hmm. what you have to know is the tool so then I decided okay i will uh, try this out and then for 6 months i continuously learned and uh, at that moment also i did not knew that uh, i will be going in a mechanical company that who is working for uh, a mechanical industry but uh, still after the uh, course i thought that okay this is being applied in some industry as well people are uh, doing ai and everything then i saw it at that time okay yeah this was a good decision that i took and uh, it is literally not a domain based thing and uh, speaking of coding like it's not li- literally a big thing what do you do here and when you go to the f- office on first day you will be again like a baby that uh, who knows nothing well, so yeah. they will be <laughs> and you will just know the tools how to use it but they will teach you and uh, you start to catch up that okay i have to do this so 
so that's how it goes yeah. <laughs> so what was your job interview process like what did they ask and did this uh, data science uh, placement guarantee course of intern shala helped you clear the clear your interview i had uh, no basics at all for uh, hmm. data science that year so for me i think this was a literally a good decision to have because uh, the basics were literally clear when i started to learn from your videos basics were literally clear at that time so in the interview as well they don't focus on things like uh, you will be knowing a very big rocket science thing mm. they just want to know that you can work for them and whatever tools you have learned for data mm. science you can apply and form some logics or not basic logics so they will test your basic python and then they will test your uh, decision making mm. that's why they will give you some assignment before uh, this uh, uh, technical interview they will give you assignment that uh, how was your approach and they would also they also asked me what was your approach so they mm-hmm. asked me about it about uh, it so i wrote uh, about it and that was also uh, like it was related to the domain only okay okay so domain plus they also checked my uh coding rank, uh, coding uh, skills that how i'm uh, coding mm. and uh, they because they all really want optimized coding uh, they mm. to have it and uh, also after that one final round was there in which hr was the one and uh, we chatted and also there was i mentioned you uh, i directly sat with uh, my mm-hmm. boss boss yeah so yeah, we chatted so it was really like really he's a really interesting person so <laughs> which long about my domain also about uh, this data science that what could be a future about his company and how i can work for him so this was uh, some like you and him both uh, aligned with each other so that this was going on so my interview process was basically <laughs> this much yeah so tell us about your job now like what is your job title what do you do so my job title is a data scientist mm-hmm. at exact space uh so in daily what i would do is uh, i have a problem statement i start to analyze what do i require so i will start to break it down in small goals mm-hmm. we plan it so after that we test what is going on am i mm-hmm. failing can we analyze we reiterate we keep reiterating and then we keep refining over it great so from your journey what advice would you give to a college student or a graduate who is about to start his or her career <laughs> so now the competition has increased uh, data science was uh, really new 2 years back uh, but uh, now every people want to do it chat gpt is there so everyone will be everyone look will look like very perfect wow. but uh, now where they can make difference is they can have uh, some problem statement with them they would have worked on some projects they should start working on some project and they should choose what domain or what field they have uh, interesting and they should opt for that domain and start working in on that problem statements so that uh, they can refine analyze what they can do and uh, not just go for it like uh, it's data science you will be a data scientist rather develop a habit to provide the solution mm. then you will be successful in it. yeah uh, thank you ravi for uh, your insights This was Ravi's story. He did it. You can too. Do not forget to like, share and subscribe to motivate me and my team and to know more such success stories. Thank you.